Well, as we come to the end of an awesome year, we look forward to the new year and we can't help ourselves but come up with some resolutions. Um, I've got some tips here, hopefully about four tips that are gonna help you plan for a healthier, better 2020. And uh, I'll get to those here in just a bit, but there's about four categories that I could think of that people plan when they're thinking through a resolution. One would be health, the other would be maybe finance. Um, the other one might be being more confident. And then the last one I put up there is they might wanna get more time back in their life and be able to spend with friends and family. So most of our resolutions, so if you have a, if you have a really good resolution and you're like, everybody should do this resolution, put it down below. Uh, obviously the four tips I'm gonna come up with here at the end is gonna hopefully be a good resolution for those of you wanting to get uh, a really great smile out of 2020. And so overwhelmingly we had 47 people uh, respond that health was what their main goal was in 2020. The followed by confidence, people want to be more confident than money. And then the last was was time. And so, um, and if you're seeing here in the, the my wonderful family in the background, they're making some cookies. So uh, I'm going to go join them right after I shoot this video. But I wanted to go ahead and get into a discussion on just for a few minutes here on some things that I think oral health and dental health will make a big difference for you in 2020. One would be that uh, the health aspect, I mean, who doesn't wanna be healthier? Uh, as we get older, as we grow and more knowledge, we, want to, we realize, hey, we don't live forever. And there's some really good things that we've learned about periodontal disease and that its effect on our overall health, its effect on heart disease and diabetes. Uh, and so it's obviously very important to have good gums and good bone health around our teeth. And then another one you might not even think about would be gingivitis, which is really just a gum infection. And then one that we all know about that's pretty obvious would be tooth decay. So those three things can obviously harm our health and be pretty detrimental. The other one would be you know, finances and, and spending money and making a resolution to maybe save on our uh, resources that going into the new year. And an obvious one to me is who wants to spend money on, on dental work? I don't think anybody wants to spend money on, especially needless dental work, uh, things that, uh, you know, like pain and, and cavities. And so um, obviously getting your issues addressed and making sure that you're healthy and having that peace of mind, is gonna help you save a lot of money in the new year. And that would be an awesome and wise decision. Uh, kind of the analogy I have is, you know, a small cavity can get a small filling. As the cavity gets larger, it's gonna need a larger filling. It's gonna need, as the cavity gets even bigger, it's gonna maybe need a crown. Once it gets into the nerve, now it needs a root canal. And you can just kind of see this adding up to be more and more expensive. And one thing that's really interesting is that you might think that this only happens when you have a toothache or there's pain. And believe it or not, I'd say a vast majority of problems don't cause any pain until they are super expensive. And so, or you may even have to have the tooth taken out. So at that point, it's a real bummer and uh, obviously hits the pocketbook pretty hard. The other one would be time. And I know that nobody wants to spend time in the dental office or sit, we're trying to make the environment more appeasing at Innovative Dental, but nobody wants to go spend endless times in the dental chair with a dentist in your mouth and uh, working on you. So it would be wise to maybe save uh, on that type of trip that's unnecessary. And those would be, you know, like missing work because you gotta go get a root canal and a crown or the multiple appointments that maybe you might take to do like an implant procedure. Even though we can do a lot with technology to, to save on time and we can convert a smile in hours and we can fix a, a tooth in an hour and a half, two hours, it's still time away from, you know, your family, away from, you know, work and uh, being able to earn money. So, um, you know, we can help you definitely with dental health to avoid issues with your schedule. The last one obviously is, is more of that, uh, it's hard to, it's the intangible, right? Uh, you know, 19 people out of the, what, 90 people that responded said that they uh, wanted to be more confident, have more beauty, uh, you know, wanted to improve their, their looks and be more um, attractive and confident in themselves uh, going into 2020. And obviously a smile that's straight and, and white and doesn't have missing teeth and there's not stains and chipping and wear, those things will definitely help you in the new year and we can definitely help with that. But I wanna to get to the tips and the things that are maybe the takeaways, the four things that I think you can use to help make sure that you're living your best smile and you're having your best life in 2020. So first one here, I'm gonna say it's kinda of obvious. We all probably thought about it, brushing and flossing. 
why in the world would you put that? Well, it's obviously the most basic, but it's obviously um, one of the most effective is that daily you brush and floss. The brushing needs to be a couple of minutes in the morning, a couple of minutes in the evening, and the flossing at least once a day to get all that stuff out in between our teeth. And uh, I've said before, if you don't believe me on that, floss and smell your floss. It's kind of a gross thing, but you'll realize how important it is to floss on a daily basis. Um, you might want to get all those you know, Christmas cookies out of there. Um, and then, you know, diet. This is one that kind of sneaks up on people. You don't realize it, but it's not the quantity of sugar. I have a video and I'll allude to that here. I'll, you know, post it. But the video talks about the effects of sugar over time and how it erodes uh, the teeth and causes a lot of damage. And so, you know, definitely be mindful of the things that you sip and consume like soda, sweet tea, coffee with cream or sugar, eggnog, anything around uh, the holidays that you might be sipping constantly, that can cause, hopefully not eggnog, but that can cause a lot of damage to our teeth. And um, so that, that'd be something to be mindful of in your diet is consuming of, of beverages. Uh, the other one would be, you know, this is where you finally start engaging the dental team. Those other two are really on you. You got to do at home and, and be mindful of when you're taking care of your health. But the other one would be get a professional cleaning by an amazing hygienist. So even though you're going to brush and floss, you're still going to build up what's called tartar. And tartar holds onto bacteria. It causes the gum infections I talked about earlier. It causes the periodontal disease I talked about earlier, which can make you know, your, your whole body and in, internal health uh, you know, suffer. And so make sure that you see a hygienist regularly. Obviously, every six months to you know, every year, at least every year, but really every six months, getting the tartar off and maintaining um, a good gum health and bone health around your teeth would be super important. And then this is the one you're gonna have to face your fears a little bit, and that's gonna go see your dentist. Hopefully that's why, where you're getting your cleanings, right? So you're getting your cleaning, at the same time you're gonna get a checkup. Uh, get a complete thorough exam with x-rays and photos uh, that can assess uh, the, the, maybe the current problems that are going on, and that way you can have those things addressed before they get more and more expensive and more troublesome for you. So those four tips, brush and floss every day, Make sure you address the diet with consuming beverages over time. Get a professional cleaning from an amazing hygienist, and then obviously get a full diagnosis and make sure that you're in full health. If not, obviously get there. Um, the bonus one here, I'm going to give you a little bit of, hey, Riley, what's up? <laughs> so the bonus one would be, you know, correct issues that will lead to future problems. So if you've already got tooth decay, you've got periodontal disease, you've got gum infection. By the way, like I said, many of these things, people are going, well, if it doesn't hurt, I'm not having any problems. I surely don't have any issues. That's really not the case. You can have a ton of problems going on and have no symptoms. And so, um, you know, it, it would be important for you to make sure that a dental professional gives you that opinion and can give you some certainty on your health. But, you know, correcting issue, issues that might lead to future health, like missing teeth. So if you're missing teeth, you're gonna have more tooth wear. Uh, you're going to have more shifting of the teeth. Obviously, it doesn't look good, but it's going to cause more problems when you miss teeth, especially if you've got many decades uh, ahead of you. The other thing would be misalignment of the teeth. So when your teeth aren't straight, they wear incorrectly. I've talked a lot about this on the channel. And so it's important to make sure that those teeth line up. Everything's balanced, just like a vehicle. You wouldn't drive a vehicle down a road very far if it was wobbling as you drove, and our mouth should be no different. Obviously, you can't just go buy a new mouth. I mean, I guess you can, but it's super expensive. Um, and so it's obviously a lot easier to just take care of it. Make sure you, you know, restore those missing teeth and get the alignment. Obviously, after we get taken care of the cavities, the periodontal disease, and the gum disease. So, uh, and then the last one, and this is what uh, we obviously pride ourselves in doing. We, we provide treatment for all the things I just talked about, but um, the last one we kind of pride ourselves in doing would be helping people have that confident, beautiful smile or handsome smile that uh, gives you so, so much joy every day that you get to enjoy it, brings value every time you wake up, look in the mirror, and when you go out and whether you're in sales or whether you're in public uh, relations or whether you just, you know, you're in a relationship and you want to feel confident and comfortable expressing yourself. Um, obviously, a beautiful smile is a big part of that. If you don't believe that, uh, you know, take a look at some of the reviews. Obviously, uh, mo most people understand that that's, if you watch, anybody ever watch a, um, a makeover? Like it's the first thing they do on like TV. They'll do a makeover and they'll, they'll transform the smile. So that's the first thing they'll address. But uh, um, that's how important it is to the overall appeal and look and confidence that someone exudes and uh, how they can express all the joy that they have in life. So um, 
I hope this video was helpful. I hope those, those four tips of you know how to make sure that you get the most health out of your mouth and how it impacts your overall health, whether that's your physical health, which it does, the mental and emotional kind of uh, the way you express yourself and the confidence that you might have. So uh, I wish you all the best in 2020. I want to say thanks to everybody that subscribed to this channel uh, and helped it grow to past uh, almost almost 60,000 subscribers. We started at 20,000 earlier this year, so that's, that's over 40,000 grown. And uh, hey, there's Dexter making a cameo. I don't know if you saw him. So that's 40,000 subscribers. So. If, you, if this is any value to you at all, and if you feel like, hey, you got some value, please uh, consider subscribing or at least like uh, the video so that way more people can learn how to have a better smile in 2020. And uh, I wish you all a wonderful new year. You keep smiling. It looks good on you.